Yep, finally here we are now. The next 3 days will be amazing. Many things are going to happen, including the endless mod update in TDX. So today, we will basically check out the last leaks we had in the past 2 days and I will try to tell you what are they. I may make another video on the leaks after this video, but that is going to be my last week's video for this update. Anyways, let's get into the leaks. First of all, this is the first thing we will talk about, the new ability system. I have already talked about that a long time ago. Finally, it is becoming real in this update. I guess some stuff through this time. As you can see, there are 8 new abilities, including the A10, AC-130, Raptor Storm, and so much more. You can buy them for gold, or you can pay to win. Just pay Robux for real man. Just kidding but it's gonna be a great feature. For real. You are able to get the abilities by winning the game modes too by the way. For free. We don't know the chances but we will see I guess when the update releases. Healing field. We just seal your towers. Cash crate gives you extra cash. Health crate gives you health. Like that's just basic information you know. A strike is basically a raptor. But a raptor storm includes more than one raptors. Re Region drone seems interesting not gonna lie. I don't know how to pronounce it man. Really. <laughs> Let me show you some footage we got so far. Sadly we only have the videos of A10 and AC130. Here are they now you can watch. AC130 was shoved a long time ago. But A10 was shoved like a few days ago I remember. If I am correct. So let's continue with the Apex Predator now. This guy has 2.7 million health with shield included that's just so much man i didn't really want that but anyways how crazy is that man just see the resistance it got literally it has every single one of them but i am still going to say that maybe after the shield is gone then the resistance are also gone too it literally has 100 percent fire and ice protection that's crazy man not gonna lie. Let's move on to the next now. So finally the grind will get so easy. However the XP grind will be the same. But on the gold grind side there are some good news. Basically there are achievements in the game now after this update I mean. After you complete them you get rewards. One of the rewards is that extra percent of a gold in every match. It's permanent too by the way not temporary. As you can see in this photo after John completed this achievement he got 80% gold income boost i mean like i boost yeah it really is a boost that's insane by the way like it is a very nice feature he got 2.7k gold in a single expert match too i have no idea my maybe this test map is either impossible or nightmare difficulty there will be nightmare difficulty maps in the game in this update i think but we will see maybe not who knows we will see man in this update it's gonna be good each mod except the endless mod has its own achievements as you can see Probably you will get them by beating the mod of it. I mean the like expert mod, intermediate mod, the most like that. The achievements are also special for every single map. We saw it on the leak I showed it to you before. The achievement was about beating the expert mod on a test map. Yeah, this will be insane. Every map will have its own medals and you have to collect them for great prizes. Also, we don't know what will they reward you. Maybe again extra percent of gold income? I don't know, but... If that applied to the XP, that would be awesome as well man. Like I really want that but anyways. And this mod doesn't have its own achievements because uh, there are mini bosses in the mod. But still, we got some great rewards for it. Here are the skin rewards of the endless mod. Basically you can get those for free for reaching a wave amount. I really like the eradicator juggernaut. Oh gosh man, like it looks awesome. <laughs> Gotta get it for real man. It, I really like them honestly man. Like they really look great and they are probably worth for going for. But yeah, I hope it's not going to be so hard because that will just be boring man. Don't make the endless mod that hard man. Like, it should be something that's decent. Let's continue with the Calamity League now. I really think now that this is the strongest boss in the game so far we have seen. Just to get this render bro, oh my god. It looks awesome. There are also other lava divved enemies we can see in the picture. Maybe after like wave 100 there are going to be these guys, the lava guys. We saw that on wave 100 there are all of the eradicators in a single wave so yeah i really think that these guys look awesome the calamity and others i mean like they really looked strong man literally man i swear we haven't seen single ability of this boss so far i really want to see what it's going to do and how much health we did have imagine 10 million health man oh my god that would be awesome it really reminds me the tower battles you know the void in tower battles there is this render image which was also teased like a few hours ago i remember there are the barracks units as you can see. Do you think the barracks will be useful in the endless mod? I have no idea but I wanna ask your opinion. But anyways man, I hope you enjoyed. There were many things we talked about today. 
that's it for now. Have a great day or night also. And see ya in the next video.